five daily habits to achieve your dream body. And I was tempted to call this video five daily habits to achieve your dream life, but I don't want to over egg the pudding because that is still a working process. Number one is going to be to wake up early, be ahead of everyone else in the world. Do you know that here in Thailand, there are markets specifically open at nighttime for vendors to buy their products for the working day. They're open from like two till five in the morning. So there is always someone who is up ahead of you, getting their day started, achieving things. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that people who sleep a little bit later than two in the morning are wrong, but don't neglect the time you have. Don't waste the time you have by having a lie-in when you don't really need it. And asterisk, let me tell you, having a baby admittedly does control and dictate your sleeping schedule a lot more than people without kids but that's not to say that my sleeping schedule my daily schedule wasn't in line before the little baba arrived number two is going to be after you wake up to exercise early in the morning now this is obviously going to differ for different people different schedules different lifestyles but if you are watching this video looking for advice and you are about to build your new daily schedule your new healthier lifestyle and you're thinking to yourself where am i going to slot exercise into this busy day i would always recommend get up go to the gym before you go to work achieve something for yourself before you start allocating your time elsewhere. That sense of personal achievement, getting back from the gym at seven in the morning, eight in the morning, whatever time it will be, knowing that you've already done something for yourself that day, gonna set you up for the rest of the day with a great mindset. And even on the days when I'm not training, guys, I still wake up at the exact same time in the morning. I go straight down to the gym and I do an hour's walking on the treadmill, burn some calories before I do anything else because I don't wanna break the cycle that I've built, the discipline that I've built, I don't want to break that two, three days a week. So by maintaining that habit of waking up early and doing something for yourself, first thing, I think it builds that mindset, pushing you to start your day in the right way. Number three, guys, is going to be to eat more Fruit. Now, this isn't necessarily a dietary requirement. The benefits of fruit are obvious. We all know them, so I'm not going to go over that here. But the reason I eat fruit every day with every meal is because it's so refreshing. I do not want to eat meals, heavy meals, especially when you're in a calorie surplus that are going to leave you feeling heavy and lethargic. And let's face it, a little bit tired after you've eaten them. But by ending each meal with a piece of fruit, Maybe it's a psychological thing. I just feel refreshed. If I've eaten some heavy rice, some heavy pasta, etc., and then I have a nice crisp cold apple or some watermelon after it, I always feel better at the end of that sitting than if I don't eat that fruit at all. Number four, guys, is to spend some time each day learning something new improving yourself, making yourself better. Yes, this is starting to sound like every other video you've watched on YouTube, but wait, it's a little bit different because I used to love watching series, watching movies. I studied movies in university, but nowadays I just see them as a way of, I wouldn't say a waste of time, but they are not a constructive use of my time. And let's be honest, guys, if I was 100% happy with my current life situation, I probably would enjoy relaxing, unwinding, watching a series. So that is probably somewhat of a reflection of the fact that I am not satisfied with exactly where I am in life. And that's cool. That's a work in progress, as I say. But I don't want to sit there wasting time watching a series when I could be learning something, watching YouTube videos, reading books, reading articles, improving myself, improving myself as a fitness trainer, improving myself as an athlete, improving myself as a father, or just generally educating myself on what is happening in the world because there is a lot of shit going on in this world that not many people talk about. Number five, guys, this is the one where it gets a little bit serious, so buckle up. You need to spend time, dedicate time to your family throughout the day. And let me tell you why that's important with regards to your fitness because I didn't used to be able to do that. There was a time when I couldn't dedicate proper time to my family throughout the day. This schedule that I got myself trapped into was just consuming me 
and I continued to go to the gym at that time, but it wasn't in a productive way. About a year and a half, two years ago, my mind was spiraling. Insomnia, guys, I was barely sleeping a wink at night and I knew that I would have been training in the morning anyway, but that start time became earlier and earlier and earlier, up at like three, four in the morning in the gym, absolutely throwing caution to the wind, just going crazy. Excessive pre-workout, caffeine in my system, just something so I could feel something during that dark period of my life. And obviously you can tell by that sentence alone that I was neglecting everything. I was neglecting recovery. Obviously I was neglecting sleep programming. I threw that out of the window. I basically just did whatever I felt like doing at that moment. When you're comparing yourself to others, when you feel like you're a failure, especially as a dad, you kind of latch onto something that you know you're good at. And for me, that was fitness, but I wasn't actually good at fitness during that period. But that was the only time of the day where I felt like I could fully control what I was doing, what I was achieving. And for the rest of the day, I was doing something I didn't really want to do. And that was also cutting into the time that I would want to spend with my family. Otherwise, I know we all have to work, but I had such limited time available at that point. And it was really playing on my mind with a small baby and a wife alone at home all day. I decided during that period, I needed to make a big change. I did make that big change. And now things are on the up. Still get up early and train in the morning, not quite 2, 3 a.m., but I get up early and train in the morning before my wife and baby wake up now because I don't want to neglect that time period of my life in terms of what it taught me. I want to take advantage of the time that I have in the day with my family. So I don't want to be disappearing for two, three hours round trip to go to the gym. I'd rather get that going early in the morning. And if they're awake when I get back, so be it. At least we've not lost hours in the middle of the day and if they are still asleep when I get back then perfect because I don't lose a waking second with them. This isn't really a mental health video guys but if you are having a tough time watching this number one Bobby's with you. Number two finding balance is so important but what I would recommend just my personal opinion not based on any professional experience or advice is to not forget those tough times because you know where you don't want to go back to. this one's been helpful guys if you want to support the channel please consider liking the video drop a comment down below and subscribe for some more content and until the next time guys have a great day bye bye